On World Hypertension Day, Potmas B General Hospital staff were encouraged to take charge of their health and well-being by checking their vitals, including blood pressure and BMI. Event Master of Ceremony and Coordinator of the Ambulatory Clinic, Dr. Andrew Ame said this. If you have been diagnosed with high blood pressure, one of the issues that we have is compliance to treatment. People are not taking their medicines. And uh, that goes to all of our staff, many of our staff. Uh, the impacts are devastating, very significant. We've lost a lot of our senior staff, medical staff, doctors, nurses, support staff through these problems. While he appealed to hospital staff with high blood pressure to get regular checkups and comply with medication. Meanwhile, keynote speaker and director of Seburi Kidu Heart Foundation, Professor Isikevao said, before independence, hypertension did not exist in PNG. People lived healthy lives in the city and also in the village because the food they ate was organic. In the internal medicine statistics, when we look at the statistics, there are two trees. One tree is called TB, HIV AIDS, representing the infectious diseases. The other tree is called lifestyle disease. And in the lifestyle disease, the number one condition is called stroke. And guess what? The number one cause of that stroke is called hypertension, followed by coronary artery disease, heart attack, followed by diabetes and kidney problems and kidney failures and so on. Dr. Kevo queried the advice from the International Hypertension Society for everyone to monitor their own blood pressure because it is unrealistic for most Papua New Guineans as they cannot afford it. A blood pressure machine costs around 220 to 250 kina at a local pharmacy. Frida Kana, TV One News.